Hello, I'm Joseph Abold. I'm st a sophomore studying computer science. A few years ago, my sister and I went to the Renaissance Fair. Um, we saw a bunch of people making the armor, doing jewelry. Um, a lot of the crafting there is actually chainmail or a chainmail derivative. And we got interested in learning how to do it for ourselves. It's a combination of knowing enough about it to tell interesting stories but not having the context to understand all the terrible parts that go alongside those stories. For, for example, um, lepers. If you get into late stage leprosy, all of your nerves short out. You won't feel any pain, you won't feel anything. By this point, it's fatal. So what they would do during the Crusades is they would take these late stage lepers, give them some basic armor, a sword, and send them off to the war. One last chance to serve God and country. Most weaves are named something in one, which is based on how they're made. So European four in one, you have four closed rings to every open ring. Half Persian three in one, assuming I don't do it wrong, um, has three open rings to every one closed ring. It's the difference between European 4-in-1 and Half Persian 3-in-1 is that Half Persian 3-in-1 will make chains, while European 4-in-1 will make a sheet. Uh, so, like when I'm making jewelry, I will use this to make the necklace chain. These are the same weave. This is just five rows tall and a lot more columns, but they do work the same and I will weave them the same, just now I can't do it with my fingers, I have to do it with pliers, and I'm doing it with a lot smaller ring. Um, there isn't a lot of a difference. They, these are machine cut. This side of the ring, it is indented a little bit. Um, that's because there was actually a saw blade that punched through the closed ring. Um, the other version that they have is they will have a, basically a circular saw and they will cut through the ring which makes a much cleaner cut. I'm weaving with stainless steel right now. Um, I've Usually I use aluminum, but I have used, oh, come on, um, titanium in the past, which is an absolute pain. Um, titanium is very strong, as many people would be surprised to learn. Um, so now we get to the other exciting part, which is actually adding to the chain where I need open rings. So I bend one ring open, hook on a couple of closed rings, and then I'm going to attach it to the chain. So it hooks through there, grab it again, and bend it shut. And now I have more rings on the chain. It is not difficult to do, but it, it can be expensive. So I will make primarily smaller objects and sell them, and through that fund my chainmail. I have not made, I have not paid for my own chainmail for a long time now.